Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Intel talks their discrete gaming GPUs, AMD released a new GPU, Nvidia officially in support on a ton of GPUs, new Windows 11 patch made Ryzen worse, and Ryzen 3D plus 5 nanometer Ryzen officially released when? Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, in an interview with Gadgets360, Intel's Raja Kaduri and Roger Chandler discussed their upcoming discrete GPUs, and they gave us a couple interesting bits of information. First, they were asked whether Intel would include something to deter miners from buying their cards, similar to Nvidia's LHR or Lite hash rate. In the answer, Roger Chandler basically said no. Of course, given they're new to the market, that's not much of a surprise. They're going to want to sell as many as they can. Finally, they were asked if Intel could promise good supply, and Raja Kaduri basically said no here as well, but he included that neither AMD or Nvidia can either. So of course, that's bad news, but I guess three suppliers is better than two. At the end of the day, Intel's upcoming GPUs are exciting, but pricing and availability will likely be the most important part. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. So you've probably heard of Manscaped by now, and for good reason. They offer some of the best tools and formulations to, well, Manscaped. And they actually sent over their new all-in-one performance package 4.0. So let's check it out. First things first is their all new Lawnmower 4.0. If you prefer using a trimmer because you don't like razor bumps, it's the safest trimmer out there with their skin safe technology. It also has a sweet docked wirelessly charge and an LED. Next is their Weed Whacker, and I have to say this, nose hair trimmers have always scared me because the first time I ever used one, I cut myself pretty bad. This thing, I tried to cut myself and I couldn't. Then they have ball deodorant and the Reviver to help you smell fresh all day long. Basically, it's got everything you need. And for a limited time, you'll get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code MELD20. Next up, the leaks were right, as AMD officially announced and released their RX 6600 non-XT GPU. I will say that I was hoping to do a release stream for it today, but I had some issues while finalizing everything last night, so it didn't work out. Either way, the card is pretty much exactly what was leaked. It comes with 1792 stream processors, 8GB of GDDR6, 32MB of Infinity Cache, and an MSRP of $329. I'll have an affiliate link in the description for anyone who's interested, though they're probably sold out. As for performance, it more or less trades blows with Nvidia's RTX 3060, but AMD claims it does it at much lower wattage. Of course, the 3060 wins at ray tracing, so each one has their own advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. At the end of the day, if you can get the card for MSRP, I would, but I'd try to hold out before paying some kind of absurd price on eBay. Next up for today, Nvidia officially ended support on a ton of their GPUs. If you remember not long ago, I covered a story that showed Nvidia would be ending game ready driver support for Kepler based GPUs when their 495 branch releases. Well, that's now happened, which means the entire 600 series, most of the 700 series, the GTX Titan, Titan Black, and Titan Z GPUs won't get game ready driver support moving forward. And when I say most of the 700 series, I mean all but the GTX 750 Ti, 750, and 745. Oh, and Windows 7, Windows 8, and 8.1 are losing support as well. Luckily, Nvidia will continue security updates, but bug fixes, day zero drivers, game ready drivers, etc. will not be added. And of course, like I mentioned before, Nvidia obviously can't support their GPUs forever, but my issue is the timing. Gamers haven't been able to buy GPUs at a reasonable price for nearly a year at this point, so even if you were planning to buy a card, you couldn't. Now your older card won't be supported moving forward. Of course, the end of support doesn't mean it'll stop working altogether, but it does mean that any new games coming out won't get performance enhancements or bug fixes. Hopefully GPU supply will finally catch up to demand soon. 
Next up, if you followed the channel, you know that not long ago AMD announced their supported Ryzen CPUs have a bug in Windows 11 that hurts performance, but that they fix it this month. Well, Microsoft released a new patch yesterday, and get this, it made the problem worse, at least the L3 cache latency issue. According to Tech Power Up, they tested the latency in the 2700X, and typically the L3 cache gets a latency of 10 nanoseconds. The Windows 11 release brought that up to 17 nanoseconds, but this new patch actually increases that to a whopping 31.9 nanoseconds. That's whoa, over whoa, three whoa, times whoa, the latency whoa, of the whoa, 2700X in Windows 10. Whoa. Three times. Luckily, we now know when the patch to fix it should be coming. According to a new post from WCCF Tech, who seems to have gotten it from a board partner, AMD will be releasing the patch to fix the preferred core issue on the 21st, with the L3 cache latency fix releasing on the 19th, and those should come to you via the Windows 11 update channel. Also, you can see that they claim customers can request the patch early, but they're probably referring to their enterprise customers only. Either way, that's not too far off, though the fact that this new patch made things way worse, this could be something to watch for in the future. Time, as always, will tell. And lastly for today, we have a huge story that comes from a new video by AMD celebrating five years of Ryzen. In it, John Taylor and Robert Halleck sit down to discuss Ryzen's past as well as their future. And of course, it's the future part that's really interesting. During the video, Robert Halleck actually stated that their 3D vCache Ryzen products will be released early next year. I'd assume it'll likely be announced at CES, especially since he also stated that Zen 4 based CPUs, so likely Ryzen 6000 or maybe 7000 with that recent leak, will come on the new AM5 platform next year, meaning Zen 3D is just a stopgap to their main Zen 4 based launch. Remember that Zen 4 will include a node change to TSMC's 5 nanometer process. Not only that, but he confirmed that the rumors we saw a little while back, claiming that AM5 wouldn't include support for PCI Express 5.0, are wrong. <laughs> So we will be getting PCI Express 5.0 and likely DDR5. Of course, that rumor could have come from an older design, but that changed when AMD saw Alder Lake. I'm not sure. Either way, both Zen 3D and Zen 4 based Ryzen CPUs are coming next year. Let's just say, I'm excited. So while that does it for today, are you excited for next gen Ryzen or are you just bummed that Windows 11 seems to really hurt Ryzen performance? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.